What is going on, guys? Um, I have quite a bit of stuff here. Um, another good good week for um, game. Uh, oh, cracking here! Another good week for game use returns. A uh, pretty good week for TTM returns, and then just a couple stuff for um, just my Texans PC. Um, I got this. So I'm gonna have this professionally framed with uh, some of the JJ Watt items I got uh, back almost a year ago now so I really like that picture I think it's pretty sick so that's that <clears throat> I got this back from Mr. Jim Bunning I sent him a ball and it turned out beautiful with the Hall of Fame inscription I think I sent like ten dollars um, cash with that um, I believe I have it written down in my little book but uh, I'm Actually, I know. I sent $10 with that. Um, I got this back this week. Vita Blue, unsigned. And he sent me this little note asking for money. Um, $10, if any of you guys want to send to Mr. Vita Blue. And got this back today. You really can't see it, and it's kind of a... He wrote it with a thin, um, thin Sharpie marker. So it's really hard to see, even in person... But Sterling Marte, Wade Boggs I got back in, it was like 32 days. And then I got some of my Euler, Euler um, results back. I sent to Mr. Ken Hill, and he wrote to Garrett. And in my letter, I wrote about how me and my dad, um, I never went to an Oilers game, but being from Houston, we always watched the Oilers. And I told him how my dad was a big influence on me being an Oilers fan. So he signed the other card to Garrett's dad. <laughs> so I'll have to give that to my old man and see what he thinks um, this is kind of a big one for uh, us Houston Oilers guys Mr. Ernest Givings and this dude was the, the, the doo-doo back in the day so he signed two of two and then this one I was stoked about man I really didn't think I was going to get this one back but I got this one back in like six days um, Ken Stabler most of y'all know him in his Raider days, but I found this Houston Oilers card, and I thought I must send to him. And then I'll go through these um, Texans pickups real quick from Topps Chrome rookie Brian Cushing. And um, what is this? What is this? Bowman Platinum. How far am I off here? Nope. Tops. My bad. Um, jumbo relic or jumbo patch, pretty nasty patch, man. DeAndre Hopkins, they think this dude's going to do some uh, big, big things in Houston. So I'm going to start uh, almost PC in him, just kind of a investment PC, if you will. And then I've never had an auto of this dude on card. So JJ Watt, and then the next day I got JJ Watt. And this one's numbered to 49, so very, very happy with that. Um, for you guys that are following the contest, I do have some contest entries. I'll do that in a video probably tomorrow Ooh, tomorrow or Sunday. Um, these are all my entries. One, two, three. And believe it or not, that is four. And this is full of cards. So, um... <laughs> I don't know what kind of entry that is. Um, it's pretty, pretty huge. Um, so we'll get to the game use. Um, when I went to the Houston's um, training camp earlier, it was like the first training. It was the first practice of training camp. Um, we got to meet Mr. Chris Myers. He is their um, Pro Bowl center. Big dude, man. I'm talking. This dude's probably six eight, three and a quarter. I mean, this dude's huge. Um, so we got to talking to him and he was like, yeah, man, he's like, I want to, he's like, I'm going to give you guys some gloves after the evening practice. Just, uh, hit me up afterwards and I'll get them, get them to you. And he was the first dude off the field. Like something must've happened. Cause right after practice was over, like he like bolted for the exit. And, um, like the second guy behind him was probably 20, 30 yards behind him. So needless to say, we didn't get those gloves from him. But I wrote him, and he sent me, these are the first ones I ever got like this, but he sent me these. Booyah! <laughs> so, these are pretty sweet, man. 
Um, I don't think these are used. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not used. But um, that's huge, man. I freaking love these freaking gloves. And I think I'm going to end up getting them framed how I showed y'all where it's like that. Or maybe like this. <laughs> um, another big return. Um, a guy that I liked when he first came out. And I haven't followed him as much as I wish I had just because he's not anywhere close to me. Um, but the Minnesota Vikings. And he sent me these things. And then on this one he wrote to Garrett, and that's Mr. Kyle Rudolph. And these, on the other hand, other hands, <laughs> have to be game used. Because, dude, these things fucking stink. Like, terrible. Like, really bad. <laughs> and uh, he sent a card. So, if one of you guys sent him a card and this is your card, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll send it to you, I guess. Um, so, that's that. And then, like, those were probably bigger returns as far as a person. But, man, this return, I was, I was really hoping I would get something back from. Just because um, I've done a lot of research on this dude. And he... Um, is uh, Joel Dreesen, a um, big Christian guy, um, just one of those dudes that doesn't necessarily have a ton of talent, but he bust his fucking ass just to stay in the league, you know what I mean, um, and it was one of those things, or it's one of those things, if he didn't have the work ethic that he does have, he probably wouldn't be in the league anymore, um, but he's on the Denver Broncos right now, I believe he's been there for two seasons, but before that, he was um, in Houston, and he was like our third string um, tight end. And I believe this coming week will be his first week back. He was injured the first part of this, this season. And uh, he's their backup tight end, I believe. But I sent to him, and he wrote me a nice little note. It says, um, Garrett, thank you so much for the support. Really means so much. God bless. Joel Dreesen. And he sent a he sent his locker. He saw everything that was in his locker. He boxed the shit up and he sent it to me. <laughs> so um, he sent me these, and he signed both of them on the thumb. Um, I'm stoked about these ones because these are the Texans colors. You know the dark blue, even though it is the Broncos colors as well. In my in my mind, I can trick myself into saying those were Texans gloves. Unlike these gloves that he sent, that there's no effing way I can do that with. Booyah. And then he signed both of those as well. Oh, but we're not done. And I didn't send him any of this stuff. He sent this. He signed that nice picture there. And then, like I, like I, I wrote in my letter that I'm a huge Texans fan, and that's where I, you know, first started following his career. He printed off a picture of him, like on a home printer, just with regular paper, of him in his Texans uniform, and he signed that one as well. So I mean, this is like just regular printing paper. So um, he kind of, I guess, he went out of his way to do that for me, which is huge, man. And then he sent these gnarly things man and I was like so freaking stoked to get these and there is no doubt 100 percent that these things are used beyond used um, you know a lot of times receivers or tight ends and actually all football players will tape their shoes to their ankles or to their feet um, this sucker here still yeah all that right there that's not scuffs all that's like tape residue so, and then he signed these, and then his little 81 that he has with the uh, Broncos, and he was 85 in Houston, and that's the same with this plate here. Whoop. So, um, huge, huge return. Um, I would say out of the three returns I got this week, as far as um, game use, I was really really happy with that one um, there's a documentary 
on YouTube about Joel Dreesen. I think it's it's like 45 minutes or 60 minutes long, but it has commercials in it, but you can just fast forward um, since it's on YouTube. And it's really, really good freaking um, documentary. I watched it three or four nights ago. Um, it just talks about um, his career growing up, um, his belief in Christ, and his move for his being drafted in Houston and or him being picked up by the Houston Texans and then moving to the Broncos and all that good stuff. So if y'all want to watch a good flick, I know he's not the most popular guy, and uh, most of you guys probably never even heard of him. But if y'all want to watch a good story, um, please check that out. Um, so that's that. Um, I can't imagine me getting a whole lot more stuff, man. I quit sending stuff out about a week ago just because I'm moving in 35 days. So that's that. Um, like I said, I'll be doing the contest video in the next couple days. And I believe I probably won't be getting any more entries since I only have like five more days or so till the contest is over. So with that being said, adios, machachos.